Hi, my name is Paula and welcome to Miss P's Crafting World. So today I'm going to take a look at this brand new puzzle that um, I saw on Amazon. Um, it's a new puzzle company to me. I think it's I think it's Chinese. Um, see if it's got a name on it. Well, it's called Jellyfishes. It's a thousand pieces. Uh, and um, see if there's anything on the back. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, small puzzle, great wisdom. High quality materials, harmless to health. Perfectly fitting pieces, clear pattern, bright colours. Okay. Oh, so it even gives you tips on how to do it. And I think on the back of this, if you, I think if you want to, I don't know if it's... Um, uh, a way of helping or not but I think this is the back of the puzzle and um, you can't really see it but it's got like um, I think it's got like numbers or letters on it on the back of the pieces so anyway I'm going to um, open it up now and to have a look so we'll have a look and see so this puzzle was really cheap um, it cost me under six pounds on Amazon UK and they had two other puzzles on there which um, one of there was one other one that I thought that the picture was okay okay so if this turns out to be nice quality then I'll probably will get the um, the other one um, because I've I've decided I'd like to start um, buying some round puzzles uh so let's open the box so the box is lovely and sturdy it's a nice sturdy box like pizza style with flaps nice sturdy bottom sturdy round here the top isn't so sturdy but it didn't actually, it came just as it was with the cling film wrapped around it. I took that off before I started this video. Um, and literally, Amazon slapped my posting information straight onto the cling film on the puzzle. And it didn't come with any, it had no padding, it had no other packaging. So it managed to survive really well. And so, here's the bag. I've already pre-opened. Pre-opened the bag. So let's take the bag out. So, there's no puzzle dust in there. The bag does have holes in it. You can see, they're quite fairly large holes. That's, they put that on there so that, to stop suffocation in case um, a child gets hold of it. Um, so I, I I would have thought that if some puzzle dust would have fallen into the base, but there isn't any in the base. So the base is spotless. So, okay, let's, okay, let's put that over there. Mm. Let's just tip the whole bag out, because I am going to be starting this. So, ooh, look at those pieces. Okay, let's see. Oh, over here. Mm, we have pieces. Uh-oh. Stuck together. Um, uh, yeah, they're stuck. Oh, 
quality. Look, can you see? Uh oh, look, the cardboard's coming off. The back, look. Sorry. Cardboard's coming off. Uh oh. Okay, I better not do that anymore then. Um, so let's have a look through. And then, as you can see on the backs of the pieces, there are letters. And I think that's to help if you want to put the puzzle together and do I don't I don't know I can't remember what it said. Um so look and I suppose you can put all like the C's together and I don't know maybe it, I think it's supposed to make it more easier easier for the puzzler to do. So already I can tell that it's not very good quality at all. The pieces are thin. The pieces are thin. They well, they actually aren't that thin, but they're like I, I can just feel the quality of them isn't, and they're quite shiny, glossy as well. You can see the gloss there. Look, the gloss on them. And let's just spread it out a bit and have a look and see what pieces we can see. So we have what shape, the standard two leg triangle. I mean, sorry, not triangle. Yeah, triangle shape. Um. What else have we got? We've got the regular shapes. Mm, not seeing any puzzle dust. No. Oh, and here come. <laughs> here comes Bo to investigate. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, Bo. Do you like the puzzle? Bobo? Bobo? Did you like the puzzle? No, he, he's not. Oh, he's not interested in the puzzle. That is good. Okay, so let's get on with it. Right, I can't see. Oh, and he's back. <laughs> oh dear. He, now he's trying to sit in my puzzle box. Look, there he, look. He's, oh, no, he's got out of the puzzle box. What are you doing, Bo? Are you coming to investigate? No, 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 don't do that. It's not, it's not cat litter. What are you doing now? I have been sitting here for quite a while. And as soon as I start talking, he decides that he needs to come over and investigate everything. Right. Back to the puzzle. So, lots of nice different shape pieces. Nice bright colours. Lovely nice bright colours. I'm still going to, I'm looking forward to, to doing it. Um, I'm actually wondering if my, this puzzle, puzzle board is going to be big enough for it. So, um. Hmm, I'm not sure if it is. I never do the thing whereby I should measure. It tells me how big the puzzle is. So really, I should see how big the puzzle is and then measure my surface. But do I ever do that? No. I do not ever do that. So. No puzzle dust. The box... The box is nice, the box is small, it's not too big, it's just the right size. Um, There's not really much else I can say about it right now. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to start to do it. I think when I've done about half of it, I'll probably come back on here and show you how it's working out so far. 
so um, I hope you like this video and that it's of some use to you and um, please like and, um, and blah, 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 sorry please like and subscribe and um, come back and see the next instalment of the jellyfish puzzle. Goodbye.